Normally I'm a story artist. I was storyboarding Bao for probably a year by myself, <laughs> drawing super loose, quick sketches. Bao was my first time directing. Being a story artist, I was kind of playing in this one sandbox for a while. When I got the chance to direct, it was great just to learn all of these new aspects about filmmaking and seeing the short come to life. Bao means two things. If you say it one way in Chinese, bao, it means a steamed bun. But if you say it another way, bao, it means something precious, like a treasure. Bao is about an elderly Chinese lady who gets another shot at motherhood when one of her dumplings comes to life as like a little lively dumpling boy. <laughs> I've always thought of the story from mom's POV. It's more fun to be in her shoes when she's like, oh my God, my food's coming to the phone down. Um, maybe just breaking it up into two actions. So he looks at her, ha ha ha. Ugh. Like, as soon as he sees her, his expression changes to like, you know, teen teenage contempt. As he's drifting away, he's listening to interesting music, hanging out with friends, having a girlfriend. All of this stuff that mom doesn't know, it really helped uh, tell the story of this mom and her child who are also kind of in two worlds. In computer animation, the camera can go anywhere and do anything. Working with Patrick Lynn in layout, we made the conscious decision to keep the camera stationary. Okay, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I wanted them to be my sensei and just like teach me everything. Like, get it to read like it's a pork filling, but focus more on the pleasant chives, like the fresher colors. For the first time, I could sit and like stare at the screen and scrutinize every little detail. Oh, look at him. I'd be like, go out and eat a ton of Chinese food. And I wanted them to call their moms. <laughs>